Hi everyone, it's Kathy Ryan here in Bundaberg, Queensland and you see before you a 12 by 16 inch or 30 by 40 centimetre canvas to which I've added some black paint and I want to do a swipe, just a straight swipe, um, I'm going to swipe with white, um, it's for a background for uh, something I want to want to do and I think this will be really nice when it's finished. So that's uh, grey blue and then I've got just a little bit here of uh, forest green. I want a lot of that. And I have uh, a light brown. Each of these colours has uh, four drops of OGX. And I'm going to swipe with white. You'll find the recipes for the paints and pouring medium below the video under show more. And that's looking pretty good. I might put a bit of white just because I can here and there. I don't even mind if some of that black back, um, black base coat shows through, that'll be okay. And I'm swiping with I'm swiping with my Photocopy paper, fold it over. I think there's one. to make it actually go this way.
There's a recipe below um, on the show, uh, not a recipe, uh, a link to my Facebook group under Show More as well, which is Australia Art Greening. So you're more than welcome to come and join us over there. Be nice to have your company. You're going down. Exactly what I was looking for. So I'll just see if another quick swipe will do the job. Uh, the blue. Let's go around this way. All right. Oops. Mark that up with my fingers. what I wanted. Do it a little bit here. See if it's going to come down a little bit more. I'm going to wipe my hands off and then I'm going to torch it and see what we have so it won't be a second. looking at it and for as much as I really like it for what I want 
I'd prefer it looked as though it were going that way. So I'm just going to do this and with a little bit of the brown and a little bit of the gold. And that's white down. Don't be shy. I just want a bit more across the top here. That run down.
that's that. I will um, leave it at that for a few days now to dry and then come back to do the top bit that I'm going to do on it. Oh, I think it's going to be lovely. All right. Thank you very much. Um, please don't go away. I'll be back in a dip. So, I'm back. It's been, um, I think, nearly two weeks. I was waiting for my stencil. My uh, painting is lovely and dry. And right along the bottom here, I have some uh, little cells. I don't know if you'll pick them up, I'll, but I'll show you when I bring you down to have a look later. Um, and the gold paint has made cells and they look like gold nuggets. And, <laughs> and I think it's kind of cute. And, and there's bits of gold coming through, so yeah, it, it looks good. But here's my stencil, which just arrived in the post, and I am centering him about there. It's good. And it's just a bit of tape there to hold him. Uh, maybe flatten him out a bit more. And where's my gizmo I've got here? Um, My trusty piece of polystyrene, which is much loved, right, and that just makes that a bit more easy. So, tucking away of the bracelet, and I'm only going to be using black. Now, there's a couple of things here, I might as well just take that off too, who cares? Put a bit of black there. Um, all right. So now I'm just going to put the first layer on and I'll let, lift that off of course and then allow it to dry for a few days before I put the second one on and here he goes with his hat, my handsome little um, cowboy fellow and basically this is all you do. I'm um, trying to fill up the space between the painting and uh, the piece of uh, plastic. This is a reusable stencil. Um, they, this particular one is made in Australia. And uh, I like the quality of these. You find them on eBay. And I think from memory, they're in uh, Western Australia. I could be wrong there, but I, that's where I think this one came from. There is another place in New South Wales that I also have purchased from. And I'm making sure I put a fair bit of paint on, just as I said, to fill up the gap. the shadow for the little moon. I've been uh, really excited to get this stencil because I think it's really good. I haven't seen another one like it. There are plenty um, um, of stencils with horses and things but this is this one's a bit different. What I what I'll do I'll when I'm editing, I'll um, go to the site where I purchased this and I'll put a link underneath show more below this video. So if you're interested in having a look at any of their things, you go right ahead and check them out. I'm sure they won't mind. And I know they post overseas, so if you're not in Australia, that's not a problem. They're actually on eBay, but like I said, I'll get their name and all of that business. Okay, so I think I've got that done. Making sure. What you do when you've done this with the stencils, you uh, wash them with soapy water gently so you don't break the little bits and pieces on them. But if you do it straight away, all of the paint comes off and, and it's 
and you get them back nice and new and it's good. All good. So here we go. Removing that. And what's this one covering? Maybe I need a bit more. Just a bit of a shadow there. Alright. We'll leave that one. And lifting very carefully straight up. There he is. Well, the start of him anyway. I'll just put this over here. Okay, so. Oh, yes. It's going to be ever so good when it's finished. All right, so I'll just get the chair out of the way and I'll bring you down to have a quick look. And then in a couple of days when it's dry, I'll come back and put the second coat on. So there he is. And you can see the... It really does bring that painting up, doesn't it? I can't pick it up because the paint's still quite thick and wet. But when it's dry, I'll let you have an even um, better look. But there he is. Okay, so I'll catch you in a couple of days once uh, this dries. Stay cool. I have decided not to do a second layer of paint on um, this painting. Uh, I, I think um, I don't really need it. And um, I'm trying to hold the camera straight. <laughs> but as you can see, it really looks, you know, amazing. And I'll show you what happens with this particular stencil. And I have some um, glare on it. When you look at it up really close, it doesn't kind of look all that spectacular. Not at all. And I, I was thinking to myself, goodness, that's uh, <laughs> not what I thought I was going to um, achieve. But when you move back and it's up on your wall, I mean, that looks really cool. So it's just one that you have to um, sort of step back from and I really like it. I, I'm going to use the stencil again. This this poor fellow over here um, kind of maybe the stencil moved <laughs> but I guess um, his mother must have loved him. All right well so that's that's um, this, this painting done and I do hope you've enjoyed if you haven't already subscribed please do click the little bell and you'll be notified then as I put up more into video videos into YouTube and um, I don't know the paints and the pouring medium recipes and everything are down below underneath this video under show more please give it the thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now